Okay, we're going to make a perimeter alarm, super cheap. I have a few things easy to get. Mouth trap, plastic type. I don't have the metal, so I haven't tried it with those. Uh, these torpedo cracker snaps, get them at the fireworks stand or at tourist attractions. They're probably over, they probably don't cost that little anymore. Any line, small fishing line, whatever. This is Stealth Braid, six pound, moss green. A pen or some kind of tube so that this is what these torpedoes look like. When you throw them, they snap pretty loud. Way better than those white snappers. Okay, so first thing, let's cut some tube. <clears throat> right there. There it went. Okay, turn on the hot glue gun. You can go, use glue or... Oh, this is going to take forever. I'm going to have to pause it. Let the hot glue gun heat up. Okay, I'm bored here waiting for the glue gun. I'm gonna explain some few things. <clears throat> I cut this piece of tube out of a Bic pin. The idea is to put it, to glue it in right here so these snapper, torpedo snappers will fit in there. And then when it's set, the arm comes down and pop. So, I like to turn this over, it just pops off, simple. I'm just going to leave it off right now, but we'll turn it over so it's, yeah, see this is the way it goes originally, so it sits flat, just take it off, turn it over. I'm going to take it off so it's out of the way, so when I glue the tube, it'll be out of my way, I'll put it back on. Pause again, oh no, it's warm enough, it looks like, let's see. Right there. Just a little bit. Press that on there. Boom. Easy. Okay, I've noticed that... Let me lift this arm up. These just fall out. So I... Uh, my lighter right in the middle there and push it down a little bit makes a little bend very tiny Let's see if it'll work no need to do it more oh yeah that's good Don't bend it right on the edges or else you'll crimp the circle. You just want it in the middle so when you stick them in there, these things will go off in your fingers if you're not careful. So you don't want to be too, doing too much with them. Gosh dang it, still not good. Okay, try again. Got to heat up this in the middle. Squish it down a little bit. So those snappers will fit in there. I'm gonna use this side. Oh yeah, it bent a lot that time. Look at that. Better work. Okay. Pick this up. Still not good. Well, this is a failed video. I melted a hole through it. That side will work. This side. 
Uh, not too good. I'm gonna bend it some more. Okay, I just ripped my little tube off. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna make it a little longer. Right there at the B. That's a good indention. Let's see if that works. Yep. Better. Yep. Okay. So now they don't fall out. Now, what are we going to do? Alright. So the idea. Remember, this is upside down. You don't have to do it this way, but I like it that way. So you cock it. Set it right here. That's why it's not so easy. You can set it with the normal. You can go down here and set it, and it'd be like a hairpin. Or a hair trigger, or whatever you call it. Hairpin. I like it right here, because it's not so easy to pull when you're tying it up. It ain't going to go off when you tie it up last. Well, that's the idea. Put your little deals in there. When it goes off, it goes boom. So now you need a way to attach it to a tree or a log or a something. I'm going to drill a couple holes. That way, if there's a branch on the tree, you can break the branch off and stick that broken branch that's still hooked to the tree to the hole or into the hole. Do it on the side, away from the lever. And I broke my trap. Okay, starting over. I'm not gonna drill a big hole, I'm just gonna drill some little ones. Couple, but I broke that other one. I could still make one out of it, but not as good. There, I can put screws in there for if I have screws on me. Then I can also cut some notches in it. Where's my saw? This one. No. Nope. The last one I pull out.
wrap it around a branch or whatever, tie it off with even a, another skinny branch, whatever. Okay, now this part, put it back on, upside down, remember? Yep. Now I'll go set it in a tree. I'll show you what I was talking about in the tree. See these little deals? These were already there, but I can just put it like that. It's loose, but it'll work. You can find a better one, I'm sure. Okay, remember when you set it, you got to put the string under there, or else it's going to catch the string. I don't know if it matters. Here, uh, set it. Don't put your crackers in there yet. Where should I stand? Yeah, there. Maybe we can see you coming. Come in and zoom on that. Haha. <laughs> That's great. You can just get a stick or something. Clean it out. Reload. Nice. Look, it broke that a little bit. Can you see that? Okay, after getting a slow-mo of it, this is about uh, four or five shots it took me to finally get a capture a slow motion of it. It was pretty cool when it went off. It made that gash in the cardboard. Anyway, I've seen people glue primers on these. I didn't trust that. I don't know about primers. I think you got to hit them right in the center. There's something also to do with 22 shells, but these things... They're super cheap and easy to come by. I buy boxes and boxes of them to keep. My wife uses them to keep stray dogs away when she's taking our dogs on the walk. They work great. Anyway, you can use primers. You don't need a tube. You can just hot glue that thing. I just used a tube so it can be used multiple multiple times. And I can probably maybe get two or three more shots out of it before I have to replace that tube. I'll come up with a piece of metal or something. I have some junk. I was just trying to find easy things for people to find. Anyway, <clears throat> how about a sub? <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs>